Thank you for tuning in to Wicked Turtle Network Exclusive. Follow us on all social media and also click the link tree in the description of this video. What is up Wicked Turtle Nation? We just wanted to let you guys know that Wicked Turtle Network has decided to join the Ray's Rebellion as brand ambassadors for Ray's Energy Drink. Ray's Energy gives you fresh and that stands for focus, recovery, energy, stamina, and hydration. With zero sugar, absolutely no crash, electrolytes, and BCAA aminos. I encourage everyone listening or watching right now to raise up and join the Raise Rebellion yourself by going to your local GNC, vitamin shop, or even online at repsports.com. And order yourself some Raise Energy drinks or other athletic supplements in bulk. And when checking out, use the order code WICKEDTURTLE for a 15% discount. The website and order code will be in the description of this cap. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Duke's Dive. This week, we got a lot of stuff going on. We got two big action-packed deathmatch shows to cover. And uh, before I do that, I just want to tell you that um, this week we do have a Royal Rumbles predictions video. Me and the coach are throwing it up this week. Um... I'm not sure if that will be up before this episode or after that, but either way, check that out. See if we're right, see if we're wrong, see if we're somewhere in between on our predictions for the Royal Rumble. That should be going up on Thursday of this week, January the 27th. Yes, indeed. So watch out for that. And uh, like I said, if you if this is up before that or if it's not, check it out either way. Check that out, the the uh, Royal Rumbles prediction video. I think that's really going to be a cool one. I got some stuff to say about that specifically, because you know I don't really cover the WWE stuff too uh, closely on a weekly basis. Uh, I usually like to cover the... I, d I usually do like to cover the big events, the big pay-per-views, and hopefully here upcoming this year we will have the coach to cover NXT and uh, NXT UK. So, of course, he'll be on there to discuss everything else with me, too. And everything in between, of course. So, let's get into the uh, the week of wrestling here. The wrestling, my week of wrestling intake. We start off with AEW Dark Elevation from the 17th. Matt Seidel and Lee Moriarty defeated Junior Miller and Marcus Cross. Tay Conti defeated Amira. The Ass Boys, of course, that's Billy and Austin. Billy and, yeah, Billy Gunn and Austin Gunn. Defeating um, JB Colette and um, TIM. Of course, TIM used to be part of um, the Gymnasty Boys. So, he's really good. You have to watch out for him. Frankie Kazarian. Or, yeah. Frankie Kazarian defeats uh, LeBron Cazon. Ruby Soho defeats Kenzie Page. Private Party defeats Chase Emery and Patrick Scott. And Jay Lethal defeats Alexander Moss. We move on to AEW Dark from the 18th. Adam Cole defeats Khan. The Gun Club defeat Bison. And uh, the... Uh, yeah, Lorenza, Lorenza, Lorentez. I butchered that name. I have that written down in marker. I shouldn't have written that marker. <laughs> I do apologize about that. Liam Gray. Yeah, um, 
We had Layla Hurst defeating Catalina Perez. Lance Archer defeating Liam Cross. The Varsity Dupons defeating Liam Gray and Adrian Aldanas. We had Vipers defeating Red Velvet. Sky Blue defeating Robin Renegade. Anna J defeating Tiffany Neves. Daniel Garcia defeating Anthony Green. Bear Country defeating Brandon Bullock and Jameson Ryan. Now we move on to the rateable uh, shows of the week. We have AEW Dynamite from the 19th. Adam Cole and Britt Baker defeat Orange Cassidy and Chris Statlander. This was an up. CM Punk defeats Sean Spears. This, surprisingly, was a down for me. I didn't like to see Sean Spears win, lose that you know, quick. I, I wanted to see a good match between them. I think they could have had a really sweet match. Hope they do soon. You know, I yeah, I just, I just think that they could have done that. It have been really cool to see that. Malachi Black and Brody King defeat Varsity Bronze. This was an up. Lance Archer defeats Frankie Kazarian. This was an up. Serena Deeb defeats Sky Blue. This was an up. Sting and Darby Allen. Defeat um, <clears throat> the acclaimed. This was a down. My match of the my my favorite match was Malachi Black and Brody King. All in all, Dynamite from the nineteenth gets an up. We move on to Impact from the twentieth this week. BTI before the Impact, of course, was Jordan Grace defeating Lady Frost. Then we had Tasha Steeles defeating Chelsea Green. This was an up for me. Tennille Dashwood and Madison Rain defeat Havoc and Rosemary. This was an up. W. Morrissey and VSK. Excuse me. W. Morrissey defeats VSK and Zicky Dice. This was an up. And Jonathan Gresham defeats Steve Macklin in a pure rules match. This was an up. Doc Gallows and Joe Doring defeat Heath and Rhino. This was an up. Josh Alexander defeats Chris uh, Charlie Haas. That's so cool. This was an up. My favorite match was Jonathan Gresham defeating Steve Macklin. All in all, Impact this week got an up. Next up, we move to AEW Rampage from the 21st. We had John Moxley defeating Ethan Page. This was an up. Trent Beretta defeating Nick Jackson. This was an up. We had Hook defeating Serpentico. This was an up. We had Jade Cardvill, Card, Cargill defeating Anna J. This was an up. All in all, AW Rampage gets an up. My favorite match was Nick Jackson versus Trent Beretta. Now, we move on to NWA Power. Season 7, Episode 5. Kylie Ray defeats um, Sienna. This was an up. Melina defeats Maddie Renkowski. This was an up. We had the Ill Begotten defeating Dirty Sexy Boys. This was an up. We had Hawks Ariz defeating Jordan Clearwater and Marsh Rocket. This was an up. All in all, NWA Power Season 7, Episode 5 gets an up. Then we had NWA USA, Episode 3. Natalia Markova and Kenzie Page come to a draw. This was an up for me. We had Kerry Morton defeating Jamie Stanley. This was an up. And then we had W.B. Ligurski defeating George South in an empty arena match. This was an up. My favorite match was W.B. Ligurski and George South. All in all, NWA USA gets an up. Then... We have the big deathmatch shows to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. We had GCW on the world from the 22nd. Pre-show was Big Vin winning the Big Rumble. We had Grim Reefer then defeating Shane Mercer, Dante Leon, Jack Gartwheel, Ninja Mac, and Alex Zane in a scramble. AJ Gray wins the Brass Ring Ladder Match. He defeated Jordan Oliver, Tony Deppin, Jimmy Lloyd, Alex Colon, PCO, and G Raver. Then we had Team Gringo defeating Team Bandito. 
AJ Gray wins the brass ring ladder match. He defeated Jordan Oliver, Tony Deppin, Jimmy Lloyd, Alex Colon, PCO, and G Raver. Then Team Gringo defeated Team Bandito. This was an up for me. Blake Christian defeated Leo Rush. This was an up. Um, I think someone had to uh, have been replaced in this match. Well, I was glad to see it happen because I am a big fan of the two of Leo Rush and Blake Christian getting together in wrestling. It's been a series out of these guys at GCW, so it was really cool for them to get a match on this platform and showcase their showcase their series of matches at the Hammerstein Ballroom. We have Matt Cardona defeating Joey Janela. This was an up. Ruby Soho defeats Ali Catch. This was an up. Jeff Jarrett defeats Effie. This was a down for me. I didn't want to see Effie lose to Jeff Jarrett. Then we had John Moxley defeating Homicide. This was an up for me. And then to top it off, the main event, the much talked about Mystery tag team opponents for the Briscoes was, of course, Hate Club, Matt Tremont, and Nick Gage. They beat the Briscoes for the tag team championships of GCW. This was an up for me. All in all, GCW in the world was a B-plus for me. Uh, it was a great to see those guys take a stage on a national platform like that, you know, uh, at the Hammerstein Ballroom, sold out in minutes. It was a great way to see Deathmatch Wrestling Company on a grand stage like that. Maybe not necessarily having Deathmatch, you know, much to the chagrin of a lot of people. But I was just so glad to see that these competitors were on a stage like that and shown, you know, just because they do Deathmatches or are, are on shows that heavily feature Deathmatch, that they're a lot more than just blood and guts or whatever anybody else may criticize them for they are one of the best if not the best companies having the best not if not the best wrestling on the planet so don't overlook these guys just because you might consider them a deathmatch company and my favorite match for gcw on the world was john moxley and homicide anyways i digress and digest i move on to icw no holds barred 21 Akira defeats Clint Margera. This was an up for me. Colby Carino defeats Brandon Kirk. This was an up for me. Danny DeMonto defeats Shane Douglas. This was an up for me. Cruel defeats Justin Kyle. Super cool match. This was an up for me. Satu Jin defeats Casanova Valentine. This was an up for me. Mickey Knuckles defeats Ludark Chatane. This was an up for me. Big Joe defeats Hoodfoot. This was an up for me. And Reed Bentley defeats John Wayne Murdoch to become the new champion. This was an up for me. My favorite match was Mickey Knuckles defeating Ludark Chitane. And um, all in all, ICW No Holds Barred will get an A-plus for me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this week, my man of the week was John Moxley. Woman of the week was Ludark and Mickey, considering that match had come to a draw so excuse my thing on there uh Mickey and Ludark come to a draw so they're both my woman of the week this week Ludark and Mickey tag team of the week this week was the hate club Matt Tremont and Nick Gage commentary of the week this week was the commentary team of uh the struggles and um Ron Nimi and HB21 what up though Match of the week, Jonathan Gresham versus Steve Macklin. Show of the week, NHB 21. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that about wraps it up for the Duke's Dive this week. Um, <clears throat> this week, I want you to go ahead and uh, definitely check out the Stardom podcast. Uh, that's really the only podcast I'm listening to uh, wrestling wise at the moment and um, like I said I just want to definitely give them a shout out Matt Turner over there they used to do calling it in the power ring podcast so that that was a really fun listen for me 
um, back in the day, and so they don't really do that with Andy Hutter, but I wish they would from time to time to get together, but they do cover the Joshi Pro stuff like that on the Stardom cast, so like I said, Matt Turner and uh, his buddy there cover that, so I appreciate you going over there, checking them out on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, all forms of all forms of the um, the game there, YouTube, they're on YouTube, they're on all forms of audio f- podcastings and uh they actually have a patreon if you can lo- donate as little as one dollar a month and get awesome content monthly so support them guys over there at the stardom podcast thank you and um that wraps it up for week uh, the duke's dive this week like share follow subscribe do all that stuff all applicable links are in the description um Join us next week. We're going to cover the Royal Rumble. And we'll see if my predictions video was anywhere close. So thank you for watching this week. Thank you for tuning in to Wicked Turtle Network Exclusive. Follow us on all social media. And also click the link tree in the description of this video.